I'm Brady Lynn, and this is Brady Lynn B Gaming up in Subsistence, and we are now in episode eight. And I just saw some activity just across the way here from my base. There's a rogue camp. Um, you can see right there, and there's a rogue actually walking. There was some gunfire that I observed on the map, and it looks like the rogues survived. Whatever attacked them, um, there's at least two wandering over there. Um, I do kind of want to get over there and get rid of them. They're very close. I also noticed that there's a hunter base um, potentially off in that direction, uh, not too far from this road camp. So we're definitely going to go investigate that today. I'm probably going to die, um, but I, them being that close, I mean, I got to go take care of, I got to take care of business. You know what I mean? So uh, first things first though, um, I'm going to make a crop plot before I get out of here. So let's go ahead and get that crafted. I did a little bit of work on the base since last episode. So just, you know, piecing things together and slowly getting bigger and better. Um, I also crafted this uh, third uh, storage chest. Um, this is gonna be like where I put all my gardening stuff. So I made some extra canteens, put all my seeds and uh, fertilizer stuff in there. So we have that right there. Um, so let's go ahead and pick up the crop plot and put that down. Um, I think we're pretty safe from those rogues from coming over here. We've got like bears and wolves all around our base, so if they do venture over here, they're gonna have a fight with them before they have a fight with me. Okay, so now that we've got the crop plot, I'm going to go ahead and pull all these out. I don't know, I probably only just need two, but I'm gonna pull them out. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and plant some tomatoes and some cotton. Uh, we've got a good amount of cotton seed right now, so we need that to advance along with our armor and stuff so we're gonna make sure that we do that so let's see how do we want this i think we're gonna do something like this all this of course is going to get moved eventually um, but for now this is what we're working with so let's go ahead and fill all this up one more oh, maybe i did i need i needed all four uh, so the rain will actually fill that up but I found it very slow. Um, it doesn't work as good as having canteens on the ready. So, all right, so we got that going. I'm gonna fill up those canteens and put them back into the crate. That way we we always have water ready to go into our crop. So we're gonna do that just like this. Yay! Okay, and then we can put everything away. Um, one other thing. Let me just do this real quick. Let me uh, not get disorganized already. Uh, I'll go ahead and put you in there too. Um, we're gonna put some stuff away, but the next thing I want to craft is going to be, I think, the recycler. Uh, we can't build up any mass beyond 100 right now, so I think by having the recycler we might be able to get to where we need. We could also build the mass fabricator, but in the past game plays that I've had, I found I don't use this very much and I tend to use the recycler more. So. We're gonna try that next. I gotta get the power built back up. I'm currently, uh, I was crafting up some iron fragments. I think I'm gonna go ahead and, let me see how many I have in my inventory real quick, just in case we need to come back and make a lock pick. Okay, so we just need two more and then I'm gonna turn this off. So I'm gonna let that craft two more. I do have the gener generator running. Um, it's pretty good on fuel. I need to go ahead and eat some fish here and, let me grab some carbs. Let me put this stuff away though. Put this away. And oh, the other thing I wanted to do. Yeah, the other thing I want to do. Let me go ahead and craft this. Uh, this is sort of the next level shirt. Um, I've been getting pretty cold uh, in the morning and at night, so I'm gonna go ahead and craft this. This is just the blue shirt. So let's craft that. And then I'm now I'm gonna put all this crap away. Um, none of this stuff goes in there. All right this stuff goes over here so okay we're getting getting somewhere here all right let's see if we got two more 
Just one more to go here, and then I'm turning this off. Let's go ahead and put our new nifty shirt on, and actually, let's take a look at us. How do we look? What is up, girl? And I got my shoes on. We're looking good. We look like we're ready to go investigate those rogues over there, right? <laughs> okay. All right, then. All right, we should have... Almost, come on, baby. Just need one more, and we'll get out of here. Do your thing. Do your thing. And I'm waiting for 10, so, cause, so that way I'll have 18 fragments that I can make a lockpick if I need to come back and do that. I'm just... I want my power to build back up and the mass to build back up. Now I'm going to turn it off. we got 10. Um, so that we can... I'm going to leave that on so that we can make that recycler. All right, I already see crates and stuff in this direction. I do see that Grove Camp is still active over there, so let's go do it. Um, let's just kind of go in that direction. I'm going to go investigate. I do want to see if, um, if I can find that new hunter base. Let's see if I can also get this rabbit. We're pretty good on protein right now, but, you know, we need... Oh, that rogue is so close. We're definitely going to get in a fight. I wonder if I could if I could draw him close to the bear. Oh wait, no, that's a deer. I thought that was a rogue. Oh my god. Uh, pardon my dog if you hear her. Um, that is Carly the German Shepherd. Okay. Yeah, that's a deer that I'm seeing. The 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 fur the tone on the um fur of the deer always looks like a shirtless rogue. Okay, we're not going that direction right now. I don't want to waste my Shotgun shells, especially if we're going to have a encounter with the rogues. So, I'm just going to try and ease my way around here. Okay. Alright. Got a chicken. Chickity, chickity. Oh my god, look at all the... Look at all the game. And a crate. Can't pass that up. That was a, a lot in one space. <laughs> okay. Alright. Keep it moving here. I think I see another crate, maybe. Yes, I do. Alright. <clears throat> Here we go. All right, I'm not gonna chop any trees. Just said I don't want to alarm the rogues. We just can't have them being this close. We really can't. Okay. So if I get quiet, it's because I feel like any noise I make, um, <laughs> even if it is just me talking, it uh, it will alarm them. Oh my gosh. Alright, maybe I should crouch at this point. Okay, I see them. Yep, you see them? Just, a, just across the, through the brush over there. I see their fire. We've got a deer right there. Okay, here's one. All right. All right. I think we should. I think we should. They're too close, right? But before I do, I think I need to find a tree. He's coming. He's going to come over here. He knows I'm here. Reload. The other guy's gonna be coming, I'm sure. Hold on. I don't hear. 
hear his footsteps. I'm gonna go ahead and get this bag. Take all that. I might as well just bandage myself just to make sure I'm full, full on here. All right, the other guy was down a little bit further. Let me get behind this tree. Oh, no. oh, there he is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Get behind the tree. <laughs> Got him. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take another, and then I'm actually gonna do my health kit. Alright, so hopefully there is only the two. I only did see two, so I mean he got me pretty good on that. Okay. Alright, I think that's good. Let's go check out their fire. See if they maybe had some food cooking. Grab their ash. And you are about to be extinguished, biatch. Oh, they didn't have anything. Alright, we'll extinguish that. And we are going to go ahead and choppity choppity. Um alright, so Next on the agenda is kind of heading in the direction that I saw the hunter base. I just want to check it out. I want to get a good look and see what's going on over there. Um, it's a little bit further off in the distance. It's, um, if you actually watch the lock crate episode where I got to... Oh my god, my fish just perished? What the heck? Oh man. Alright, well this is gonna, probably going to be a quick trip out. Because uh, I'm going to be low on protein. Um... But yeah, if you watch the, the lock crate episode, I think it was episode 7, uh, where I was able to get the two lock picks in one episode, um, that's about where the hunter set up, so that sucks. Because uh, that was a new lock crate area I was going to try and um, go check out every now and again. Okay. I might try and take out this chicken. Oops, that was, I totally, <laughs> I hit the trigger when I uh, was trying to aim, stupid me. Um, okay. Oh, there's the hunter. Run, run, run. I don't know if he saw me. Oh my god. That's bad news. Bad news. Yep. He either saw me or he's coming across a bear or a wolf or something. Oh, I think he is. Not that bear, though. Uh, yeah, let's uh, cruise over here, maybe. That wasn't me he was shooting at. That bear is going to guard that area. So let's see if we can't... This is really being stupid. I said I was going to be paying more attention to danger. <laughs> but, uh... No, I'm not. Not at all. Yeah, I wonder if, uh... Oh, he got that wolf. Oh, he the wolf got him. Nice. All right. Got him. Very nice. All right, let's go get this bag. So, because the wolf got him, we ain't got no beef with this hunter just yet. Ooh, we got some weapons parts. I don't think enough to do anything, but um, that's good. All right. Uh, while we're over here, let's go check out his base. Let's go see what, what he's been up to over here. Oh, I don't think he's been built. This is his campfire, I guess. He hasn't built anything yet. We had some, uh, burnt rabbit. Yeah, he- oh, there's his foundation right here. Oh, he just got started! Oh, isn't that cute? Well, let's go ahead and chop some wood around his base. Let's take his wood. I'm taking the wood, dude. So that works out. It's actually- I mean, man, that's awesome when the- when the animals come in and kind of help contribute, uh, to, you know, your- your area security. Um, let me go ahead and get this, this 
this ore here. Now that we've got the crop plot going, potassium is um, good for that. Uh, for once you refine it, that's really good for your crops. Okay. All right. Haha. <laughs> Let's get back to base. We're going to cook the protein that I've picked up, and I need to wash my hands because I'm nasty. We need to get in and eat lunch. I'm also going to go out for another kelp run. This area I'm actually calling Kelp Rock. Um, that area is very good for kelp. Very good. And it seems like the respawn rate for the kelp is, is way faster than um, some other places. Okay, let's check out the situation here. So we do got our power back, and for the recycler, we still need that hundred mass. So we're gonna wait. Have to wait on that. All right, let's get in here. Got some. Um, uh, I don't really get much out. I guess I'll eat it. I was gonna maybe save it for the recycler when I build it, but we'll just eat it. Um, did get a liver, so let's cook that too. Go ahead and render some fat as well. Uh, we could use our some carbs here, so we'll do that, and we can wait on killing these rabbits. I hate doing it; it's just awful. So we're gonna put our put our ores away in here, okay? And let's kind of take a look here and see what we got. So we did get some weapon parts and. Just some other normal stuff that we normally can get on, but these weapons parts are really good because that's what we need to craft our sort of next level. Uh, this this right here is what I'm wanting to make is the revolver. I love that weapon so much. So we still need a few weapons parts before we can do that. All right, let's eat this. Eat you. Okay, not bad. Go ahead and put all this stuff away. We're gonna get back out there and do more looting. Uh, yeah, cool. Put all this away. Oops, I didn't want to do that. You, 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 and you. And actually, let me get that liver out before it burns. Okay. Alright, so we can still got two rabbits for later and a liver. So we're doing pretty good on that. I think I should probably go ahead and make some cordage. Get all that done. Okay. All right. Let's get back out there. Um, actually, should I make another medical thingamajig? I probably should. So what do we need? Biofuel. We need this, and we need um, oh that that stuff, which is this and this. So how many do we need? We need two. Okay. Let's make two. One, two. All right. All right, we'll get once I make. Uh, I just want to make another health kit before I go. So, actually, can I still do it? Yeah, I'll have two. Yeah, okay. So I can put. What can I put away? This and this. All right, so that'll get crafted. And actually, let me um, let me stop all this. And that way, I can do this and go. Water. There's always so much to do. That's what makes this great. This game so fun. I mean, just the constant having to grind. All right, we're gonna make that, and now we are going to put valuable things away, like the biofuel. Don't want to lose that ever, ever, ever. And then we can get back on the craft on these guys. Now we can go. <laughs> Let's go. Get the heck out of here. Alright, so we crafted the health kit, so let's go ahead and bring it down so we have it on the ready. Alright, now, ooh, I see crates already spawned in, so let's go get some of that action. We've got, looks like, two building crates. That's nice. Very nice. We need lots and lots of nails. I want to continue to build today if I can. So we need lots and lots of lumber and uh, nails. And there's Mr. Wolf over there. Mr. Wolfy Pants. 
Uh, Mr. Bear Pants. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We are steering clear of that kind of trouble. Stranger danger. Alright, let's head in this direction. I'm not sure how much of the map I've opened up in this way. Oh, quite a bit. Okay. I believe this is the what they call the valley in this direction. That's where I died on episode 5, I believe. Yeah, buddy. There was a rogue camp and a wolf chasing me at the same time, and I got totally wigged out, I guess. Let me go ahead and butcher you. Are right, we getting some good nails? I'm just going to kind of... I think my, well, A good method, I think, sometimes is following the grub trees. Oh, not that grub tree, though. That is your tree. Your tree. That's bear tree. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Um, one of the good methods, I think, sometimes is is following the grub trees. Just kind of like hit hit each one and then move on. Um, I think I might be able to get the tree. Maybe. Yeah. He's gonna let me. He's gonna let me. For a moment. Nope. I tested him a little too much, I think. Alright. We're going in this direction. Let's get some trees going. I'm not seeing too many crates at the moment. There's some ore over here. Alright, before we start chopping, let's just take a look. See what doing down here in the valley. Bear. Okay, I'm not seeing any uh, human activity. Actually, a really nice view up here, isn't it? Too bad there's no water nearby. That'd be a, kind of a nice place to build, I think. Alright, we're going to chop this. We'll grab that ore. And we're just going to kind of run through the valley for a little bit. See what we can find. And this is going to be potassium, I think. So, let's get, let's get this. Anything else? Not seeing anything. Okay. Not seeing a lot of scrap either. Alright, where's that bear? Okay, over there. There's some copper. A little copper action. Alright, I do see some scrap, I think. Let me go get it. I'm kind of running low on it. I do want to maximize my scrap intake. I think this is iron. We want this for sure. Just want to make sure we ain't got no friends around. Okay. Scrap. Yeah, baby. I want that. I want that action. All right, we're not going to run too far. Cause it is going to get dark soon. Got him. I did that. I'm running a little low on feathers. So, thank you very much, chicken. I do see a building crate. Okay. Um, yeah, let's run over here. I'm gonna butcher these guys. Alright, I probably need to head back to make sure some of that meat does not go bad. I'm gonna hit a couple trees though before I. Ooh, I see another. I'm gonna run to that crate actually. We'll run to that crate I see off in the distance and uh, head back. That's probably a good idea. Weapons out. Bear. Alright. It's a health bag. Oh, that's actually really good. We got the, uh, some bandages. It looks like weather's coming in, so it's probably a good time to turn around. Even though I did make that new shirt, it's certainly not enough to keep me cozy. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a good time to head back. We'll run through this direction since I haven't been through. I see a blueberry and some 
fiber. Yeah, let's get on this little path. And, uh, some more blueberry. Okay. I do think some lock crates do spawn in over here as well. I do want to be mindful because I'm starting to kind of log where lock crates are. Um, I'm kind of doing my own little research and analysis on that, so even if I can't open a crate, I want to make sure that I am remembering and writing down where they spawn. I, of course, have like my go-to spots, but there's really only, I don't know, maybe three or four spots that I really know that there's a guaranteed chance. I guess I shouldn't say guaranteed, but probably like a, you know, 75% chance that they're going to be there. So. Oh, great. Alright, cool. We can uh, load up our shotgun. Alright, yeah. It's getting dark. Let's head back for real. I'm gonna try and chop a little bit along the way. Quit messing around with our health. I hear you and I don't know where you are because I can't freaking see. Oh, there's a lock crate! Lock crate! Lock crate! Uh, hold on. Where is this? Okay. Alright. I will log that later. I could potentially try and come back to that in the morning. Maybe it'll still be there. Maybe it won't. I can't see crap. I hope to god I make it back safely. Okay. Looks like we're gonna make it. Wow, our health is really going down. Woo! Get in the base. Our fire should just be fine. Yes, it is. Um, if you haven't checked it out, I actually have started a new playlist called Subsistence Facts. Um, and I actually did a, an analysis of how long it takes for the fire to go out for both the campfire and the wood burner. So if you haven't checked that out, check it out. Um, you actually don't even really need to watch the whole video if you don't want to. I did put the, the actual rate of burn uh, in the description in the video. So, you know, if you, um, if you don't want to, like, sit through a five-minute video, eh, just, uh, check it out. Um, did post the times, so let's, uh, get that nice and refueled and put this on and this on and this on. We could use this, we could eat this, we can eat our carrot, too. Alright, I'm gonna put some stuff away, and we're gonna then check our mass situation, which I'm not sure where it's gonna be ready yet. All right, that's still cooking a little bit. We can check this. Um, okay, we do have enough mass. All right, so we're going to be able to make the recycler in this episode. I just need to make some more planks, get the electrical components, get a scrap. Okay, no problem. Okay, no problem. I'm just going to go ahead and eat you. Bring you, bring you over. Okay, so that's good. All right, so we're all full up there. Let me just do a little bit more house cleaning, put some stuff away, and we are going to make that recycler. All right, so we just need planks. I'm just gonna make, I don't know, enough to maybe add on to the base a little bit and have enough for this recycler. So we needed electrical components and the uh, scrap. Nice. I hope this is the right move. <laughs> all right, that's gonna take all our power down. So because of that, um, I actually really don't need a turn on the generator or anything, right? I don't think so, but... Uh, I do need... Yeah, actually, maybe I should, because I do... Now that I saw that lock crate, I'm going to see about... Um, go ahead and make another lock pick. And maybe, just maybe, that lock crate will be there in the morning. What am I doing here? Okay, so we got our 18... I think that's all you need for the lock crate so and then once we get this recycler down we should be able to build up our mass a little bit all right where are we gonna put this guy mm. and we really need to build this base out uh i guess right here for now again all this stuff is going to get moved eventually 
So looking at the recycler, um, so basically if you're not familiar with this, um, this will you put things in here to gain mass at your base. So there's a number of things, you, you can basically put anything in there, but there's certain things that kind of give more mass. So like if I hover this over, it tells you how much mass you're going to get from this nine um, fiber, but it also draws from your power. So that's something to kind of be mindful about. Um, sticks actually do give a good amount of powder, and I do have some kind of saved up in here. So let's check that out. Let's see what else I got to maybe throw in there that I'm not. I mean, right now, because, you know, I'm still, this is still early game, I don't have a ton of stuff that I want to, like, throw in there and get rid of. Um, you know, by day, you know, 50 or something, you have so much stuff that, so it only gave us, like, six mass. Um, let's see here. How much does the, I don't want to throw my ash in there, but I'm curious. It gives you seven for that. Um, but I don't want to get rid of that. That is used for my guard. Thank you very much. So put you in there like that. And okay, so let's see. What do we how much power mass we need for the damn lockpick? Alright, we just need 75. I just gotta get back to 75. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go chop a bunch of wood, make a bunch of sticks, and yeah, and then we'll make that lock pick. Um, actually, hold on. Let me uh, split one. One six. Actually, you know what? That was dumb. I mean, we'll put this in there. Okay. And then, actually, if I go ahead and put that in. Okay, we're at our mass now. So we just got to let our power build up. So, yeah, it's going to take a minute. I think it's a good time to call it with this episode. I've got crates everywhere. It's driving me nuts. Oh, my God. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, let's let's end the episode here. I will immediately make the lock pick in the ne next episode, and we will run in the direction of where that lock crate was. It probably has despawned, but, you know, we might get lucky. So let's do that. So, yeah, in conclusion, we basically got pretty far. We got the crop plot, um, built the recycler killed rogues watch a hunter die it was a very good episode so hopefully we have that same kind of luck in the next episode so until then bye for now game over